sister, my question is, if you will allow me, we often see that there are new people in the church. What advice could you give us on how to explain or to teach people who are new or who have not been in the church for a long time, who still have a difficulty understanding worship services because they believe that in a passive, without speaking or without clapping, they could also obtain the Holy Spirit? Sister, if you could please correct well, me. There are some people who say that in order to receive the Holy Spirit, it's not necessary to open your mouth or pray, but just ponder and think that they're going to receive the Holy Spirit. Well, I'm sure if God wants to give the Holy Spirit to a person who thinks that way, that to pray you don't have to open your mouth, that you can just, with your mind and with your thoughts, do it. Well, I think if the Holy Spirit descends to that person who hasn't opened their mouth, who doesn't pray with their mouth open, who doesn't like to sing, but everything they do in their thoughts, and if the Holy Spirit comes upon them, it's going to make them scream. It's going to make them scream because that's the manifestation of the Spirit of God. The manifestation of God's Spirit when He comes to us, the sensation that you feel is that you want to jump, you want to run, scream. That's it. That's the manifestation. So there are some people that maybe move a lot. They rock back and forth. They jump. They cause the benches to move around. Others maybe scream out loud because that's the manifestation. Because such a small portion of God comes to our life. Our body cannot resist it. This is why there is that type of manifestation and that person begins to scream and to pray and to sing with joy, with gladness. That's the manifestation of God's spirit. So imagine on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit descended, it seems as though the earth shook like there was an earthquake. There was like an earthquake. The houses shook like there was an earthquake because that is God's power. The power of the Holy Spirit comes. And so it says everyone started to speak in tongues and to prophesy. They began to scream. And this is why people began to criticize them saying that they were drunk, that they were full of wine. Because that was the manifestation. So this is why when we go to the worship services, when we are in the worship service, we talk out loud. We talk a little bit louder. We pray to God. We praise him with beautiful words. Because when the Holy Spirit comes, we're prepared. Because if you're just there and your mouth is shut, then you're not going to give free reins to the Holy Spirit. And we must give free reins to the Holy Spirit by praying and singing. That's it. So, yes, there are many people that criticize this, but we need to teach them. We need to teach them that in other denominations, because they say, well, in my other denomination, the church where I was at before, it's not like this. The only one who prays is the pastor and no one else opens their mouth. So we tell them, well, okay, that's fine. That may be over there. No one opens their mouth and prays. But the Holy Spirit manifests here. He doesn't manifest there. Now, if he manifested there, well, then everyone would scream, shout, jump, would do all sorts of things and dance because that is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God makes us move. It doesn't allow us to remain still. So this is what we must teach people not to criticize, but to seek a God. If they want to have him, it's better not to criticize, but rather pray. And one day they will have that experience. They will feel it and they will then understand things better.